Hey guys, so I'm going to be doing a skincare update. It has been um, several months since I have talked about my skin and some people have noticed on Instagram that it looks amazing. So my skin has come such a long way. I have struggled with hormonal acne for the past I don't know, since my early 20s. Um, it's been really, really bad. I would get really big cystic acne on my cheeks and why I believed it was hormonal is I mean, one, it would show up oftentimes around my cycle, but also I have um, combination skin. And so if it was skincare related, or like oil related, I would be getting the acne in my T-zone, but it was always in my cheeks. So one, the acne was hormonal, but also was stress related. I was under a lot of stress for the past couple of years, writing my dissertation, trying to finish up my PhD, wedding planning. I remember, like anytime I actually had anywhere to be, or like anytime I had like a photo shoot or like an event, my face would always, always, always like flare up. Um, on my wedding day, I broke out. Granted, I did get a face wax, like an all over face wax, three days before my wedding, which I probably shouldn't have done. Um, but yeah, the day of my wedding, I had a crap ton of pimples and I'm just very grateful for Photoshop and other editing apps that clear that up. I tried a whole bunch of different things um, on my skin and really had not found anything that took away the cystic acne completely until this year. So this video is going to cover three different things. One, I'm gonna talk about the products that I use to clear up my acne, they're two different products. Two, I'm going to talk about a couple of skincare empties that I have from products that I have used to completion that I really, really like. And then three, I'm gonna talk about some new products that I've picked up from the Sephora VIB sale. Before we get started, make sure that you subscribe and hit the notifications bell. This is actually the second time I'm recording this video. I recorded it over the weekend, um, I filmed it in the living room because Jonathan was here doing work in the office and I thought it like was looking okay and then I went to edit it and the qual I don't know, like the lighting just like, kept on changing and it was, it was not cute and the days of just being able to throw something up on YouTube are long gone so I had to re-record it um, so it's taken me a little bit longer to get it up than I would have liked but after all that rambling and that very long intro, let's get right on to it. At the beginning of the year, I was like, you know what, this is too much. I'm gonna be 30 soon. I cannot still be dealing with acne. I need to figure out a solution. So I was scrolling through Instagram and came across Tanya Thomas, who is an esthetician in New York. I was really captivated by her amazing transformations. Like her before and afters are, like they speak for themselves. And I just figured, hey, if she can fix those people's skin like she can fix my skin so I set up an appointment with her and kind of went in saying hey you know I'm struggling with dark spots and I want to know how to clear the dark spots and she was like hold up slow down first we need to address the acne that you have before we talk about the dark spots and it was kind of like this light bulb moment where my previous skincare routines had been geared towards fading dark spots but not really towards addressing the acne that I was suffering from but she gave me two different products that I used from January to April and these two products completely cleared my skin. I have not had a single cystic acne breakout since mid-April. I remember the first cycle that came around that I didn't have a pimple. I was like, wow. I was shook. So the first product that she gave me, there are these clear face pads. By the way, both of these are prescribed products. So you can't just like go and buy them, but maybe you can go and see a dermatologist or an esthetician and ask them about uh, the products if they think that they'll be a good fit for you, but she gave me these wipes um, that have 2% salicylic acid, 0.5% clindamycin, and 5% salticetamide. Um, now I kind of forgot what clindamycin and salticetamide do, but I had been using salicylic acid like a ton in my routine, so I know that it's not the salicylic acid that changed my life, it's these other two ingredients, the clindamycin and the salticetamide. And the second product is Retin-A. So she prescribed and gave me a 0.1% uh, retinoic acid cream. And so here is the way that I would use these two products. So in the morning I would wash my face, then I would use a salicylic clindamycin salticetamide wipe as like my toner. I would kind of like let that dry a little bit. Then I'd follow up with a vitamin C serum, a moisturizer, and sunscreen. Oftentimes I used a sunscreen 
that was also a moisturizer but sometimes I didn't so but either way I would always use sunscreen that's also super important when you're trying to address dark spots um, and I didn't want to make my dark spots worse as I was addressing acne especially when you're using really sensitive chemicals on your skin um, you want to make sure that you're also using sun protection then at night I would wash my face again if I was wearing makeup I would double cleanse my face which means using an oil cleanser to break up the oils and bacteria on your skin before going in with a gel or a foam cleanser um, so the idea is that like oil attracts oil and oil repels water so if you, if you just use water on your face you're not going to get all the oils off so I'd use an oil cleanser first and then I would use a regular gel cleanser then I would follow up with the Retin-A just a pea size amount not too much because this stuff does dry out your skin and I would kind of like let that sit for 20 minutes some people can just go and go to sleep without needing any other moisturizer my skin felt too tight so i then followed up with a moisturizer so a really like light moisturizer um every single night so that's that was my routine for a solid four months maybe like three and a half months because i think i started it at the in maybe the mid january or late january um and by the end of april like i tell you like two cycles came and went without a pimple and i was like oh we like fixed my whole face like it's fixed like although i have stopped using these two products and the cystic acne has not come back um so i've been so 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 excited oh my gosh it was such a journey and such a struggle so those are the two products that cleared up my acne again i definitely recommend that you go to a dermatologist or esthetician and ask about retin-a or ask about the um some product that has clindamycin or sultacetamide in it it would have been great if my acne was able to be cleared up naturally you know there are people who really support the whole like black soap and coconut oil and that's all you need on your face i would have loved for my skin to agree with that kind of routine but it needed heavy duty stuff in order to clear up um so now that i've cleared up my skin i am excited to kind of like transition into a new routine and the last time that i saw tanya she confirmed that I had no bumps under the surface and no like underlying <laughs> acne. So she changed up my regimen. Now I'm using a couple of different things that I wanna use for a couple of months before sharing with you guys. But my new routine is geared towards hyperpigmentation specifically. And I do already think it's working, but I definitely wanna give it enough time to work. So that's how I cleared up my hormonal acne. Now I wanna talk about a couple of products that I finished, completely finished. So the first one is the DHC Deep Cleansing Oil. This is actually something that I bought in Japan. I went to Japan last summer and bought a whole bunch of Japanese skincare products. I'm obsessed with J Beauty. I currently use a couple of Shiseido products. But the DHC Deep Cleansing Oil is an olive oil based cleanser. And as I was saying earlier, when I double cleanse at night, you know, you use this and it helps really break up any makeup on your skin. And then after you rinse that off and then you go in with another gel cleanser or a foam cleanser or whatever kind of cleanser that you want. And it just makes your skin like actually clean um and so i really really like this product i haven't yet reordered it although it is sitting in my amazon cart so you don't have to go all the way to japan to get it it's sitting in my amazon cart but i haven't reordered it yet because glam glow sent me a cleansing balm that i actually like and i'm trying to not to be like a product hoarder so much so i'm trying to use things that are sent to me so as long as it keeps working i'll use it and the second that it no longer works i will hit you know buy now on the my amazon cart for the dhc deep cleansing oil the second product that's empty is you can't even really tell what this is but it's the youth to the people superfood cleanser this is the gel cleanser that i was using um day and night it finished actually super quickly because i was using it and jonathan was using it um because the glass is bottle wow <laughs> because the bottle is glass um the little markings on it came off which is a little annoying but um honestly the cleanser is amazing i needed a cleanser that didn't have any kind of acids or actives in it because I was using such heavy duty stuff. You don't want to like use a salicylic acid or benzoyl peroxide acid cleanser when you're using Retin-A because then you'll just like over irritate your skin. So this is a really like natural clean cleanser. Um, I really, really liked it and I need to buy another one. Also like that it's glass, you know, eco we're trying to be eco-friendly here. So I like that it's glass. And this was recommended alongside this other product that I'll talk about in a second 
These two were recommended by Hello Ava, um, which is a website that you can go on and put in your skin information and it'll suggest products for you. I did a partnership with them in December, I want to say. And I actually really thought that the skincare quiz was pretty accurate in describing and diagnosing my skin's needs. And these two products recommended and I loved both of them and have completely finished them and now need to buy more. So the last product empty that I want to talk about is this Indie Lee toner. I don't know if it's called COQ10 or COQ10. This again was a toner that doesn't have any glycolic acid, salicylic acid, nothing in it. Before I was using Polish Choice BHA 2% as my toner and I couldn't use it anymore when I was using Retin-A. So I used this. Not really much else to say about it, but it's an alcohol-free clean beauty toner. So if you're looking for something that is gentle on the skin, um, then definitely investigate this. I want to say that COQ10 uh, helps protect your skin against air pollution. I'm gonna double check my facts on that, um, but I'm pretty sure that that's like the benefit of COQ or COQ10. Um, so yes, all those three products, I absolutely, absolutely love them and we'll be adding them back in I might not be adding this back in because I just bought a new toner that I'm about to talk about in a little bit So I probably won't be adding this back in unless I switch back to a routine that requires a Non-acid toner, but I actually started using an acid toner again, which I'm about to talk about in a second The last part of this video is to share the new products that I bought from the Sephora VIB sale I bought only skincare products. I did buy a beauty blender because I needed a new beauty blender But I bought no other makeup no hair products um, I just focused on skincare and so here's what I picked up one is the Ren <laughs> Ready Set Glow Tonic. This is a daily AHA tonic. I was attracted to it because it has a bunch of different acids in it. So it has willow bark, which is a natural derivative of salicylic acid. It also has lactic acid, which is an amazing, amazing acid. I talk about Sunday Riley's Good Jeans all the time, and that has lactic acid in it. It also has azelaic acid, which helps to brighten the skin, um, and it's supposedly really good for hyperpigmentation, which I read about um, not too long ago. So I like the fact that it has like three in one and I like the dispenser you just put a um like a cotton pad and then push down you know at the nail salon when they like push down on the acetone or whatever to like clean your nails I kind of like the pump so we'll see when it gets down all the way to the bottom how efficient this is but I've used it a couple times already and so far so good it doesn't sting or anything so I like this the second thing that I picked up from Sephora are the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Again, I'm, I'm showing the French side. The Alpha Beta Peels. Um, these come in, I think, three, two or three different strengths. I got it in the Ultra Gentle strength, which is not the most popular one. But because I use a bunch of other products with a bunch of different acids in it, I didn't want something that was super, super strong on my skin. It's for people who have dehydrated or sensitive skin, uneven tone or texture, uneven tone right here, fine lines or enlarged pores. It's like a two-step peel pad so you put the first pad and like wipe your face and then the second and like wait for two minutes and the second pad neutralizes everything the main acids are lactic mandelic and salicylic acid um so both ahas and vhas i've only used it once so far these are pretty pricey but i think that if you're the kind of person who doesn't you know know a lot about like ahas and vhas and just want something they can use once or twice a week to really like rejuvenate and refresh their skin, this is definitely a good option for you. I'm planning on using this really mostly when I travel, just like throw it in my carry-on bag, in my toiletry bag, um, so that I don't need to pack like all five of the serums that I normally <laughs> use. The other two products that I picked up from Sephora, I actually might return, but I'm gonna talk about them anyway, and they are both by The Ordinary. So. I don't know if you guys have been following the news about The Ordinary. Um, I've heard really good things about the brand, but there was just so much drama with the company in the past year, with the founder doing really interesting things, and then Estee Lauder suing them, and it was just like much, so I kind of just was really turned off by the brand and didn't want anything to do with it. But they seem to have like stabilized what's going on. Um, so I was like, you know, let me investigate. So I decided to pick up the Glycolic Acid 7% Toning Solution, because I knew I needed a new toner because the Indie Lee one um, ran out. However, I this one is much cheaper than the Ren one. I think the Ren one is around $30, and this one's about $7. But the Ren one has more acids in it. Um, whether or not they are strong, like a stronger percentage than this one, I'm not really sure. So maybe I'll still keep this, 
but I'm yeah I'm not 100% sold on this yet um but if you have any experience using the ordinary I would love to hear your feedback and your thoughts so feel free to let me know then the other product that I got from the ordinary is this mandelic acid 10% plus hyaluronic acid the only reason I'm returning it is because the last time I visited Tanya uh, she actually sold me uh, a different mandelic acid serum so I don't need two mandelic acid serums um, so yeah, that's all. Those are the um, new products that I've been using. I will probably do a blog post in a couple of weeks just with an update about my new morning and night uh, skincare routine. However, um, I do want to give the products a couple of months to actually like, work before assessing whether or not they work. <laughs> um, so I'll be giving you guys like, a review in a couple of months and an update and we'll see how my hyperpigmentation progresses um but i'm just really excited that my skin is doing way 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 better than it was uh six months ago a year ago for sure um it's come a long way i know there's still a lot to do um but the main issue was the acne so i feel like once you've controlled the acne then you can actually address the dark spots so i'm excited that i haven't had any more acne i mean i've had like a little whitehead here and there um but the real issue is the cystic acne that comes back over and over in the same exact places on the same exact like the same exact like one inch radius on my cheek and those are now gone praise him so yes i'd love to know what products you are using currently on your skin if there's anything you've tried lately that you're feeling if you are also struggling with acne totally understand the frustration of you know struggling with acne there definitely is a solution out there you just have to find the combination that works for you so i definitely recommend going to a dermatologist or an esthetician especially someone who is well versed in skin of color i feel like that's what really made the difference for me and also being willing to invest like you know the products they weren't cheap but this was worth it the clear skin was definitely worth it so thanks so much guys for watching this video if you have any questions leave them down below um and you know it it was kind of annoying to have to re-record this but i'm really trying to bring you guys really good quality content um and I haven't always done that on YouTube and I feel like I can't have different standards of excellence for like Instagram and my blog and YouTube so I'm now going to do better on YouTube. So yes, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will catch y'all in the next video. Bye. Bye.